And just like that, we are live, ladies and gentlemen. Now comes the interesting process of me sending the link to Facebook so people know what's going on. Check it out. My name is Kyle Meyer. How's it going? I will be your guide for the next hour or so. For now, just hang back, hang tight. I will get to you in a second. I just need to link the stream. I apologize for the sound that's about to come out of your computer. There, it's stopped. I fixed it. Don't even worry about it. Let's post here. Has anybody joined? People are in. Hello. Welcome. Oh my God, people are coming in fast. So, my name is Kyle Meyer. I am going to blast this out on social media real quick so I can get as many viewers as possible because that is the goal here. So I'm just copy pasting the link. If you're with me, join the chat if you're not in the chat already. Let me know how everything sounds. Let me know how your day is going. It is five o'clock, which means it is quitting time. So I'm happy you're here with me. Hope your day wasn't too difficult. I'm here to make it a little bit easier. For now, I'm going to post this on my Facebook page now that we are live. We are live. What should I write? What should I write? Anybody got any good, catchy things? Thomas, you are quick. Thomas, you are too quick. It is good to see you. You are here struggling through the social media portion of this stream. Unfortunately, this is something that has to be done. Thank you for showing up at a different time, two hours later than what we usually do. I want to test this. I want to see how it's going. Give it a try. Come hang out and chat about your day. Um, oh, what should I say? What should I say? I don't know what to type for things like this. Facebook, come hang out. We are live. Come hang out. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come hang out. And join in on the fun. Let's just leave it at that. Bring your friends. Let's do that. Okay. Thomas, I am chatting with you. Everybody else, please chat with Thomas. He's the man. Roger, finally been waiting this entire day. Roger, good to have you here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again. I'm just blasting the link on Facebook to try to get as many people as possible because that is the goal. As you know, you guys are fast. I will give you a quick little taste here in two seconds of what we're going to do today. We are live. Come hang out and join in on the fun. Bring your friends. Boom. Posted. So allow me to show you what's going on today. First and foremost, I want to show off a little indulgence. I bought myself a light. Look at that. Look at that. Fancy. <laughs> Fancy. I'm professional. I'm as professional as it gets. So now you can finally see me. The light is tiny. It is a loom cube. It is one of these little guys. They are cheap, but, oh, oh my God. They kick a lot of ass and they get super bright. Too bright, too much, too much. Dial it back. So we are going to edit four different photos today. The first three are going to be very heavily adventure and camping based. The first photo is this one, as it was in the thumbnail. You will see before and after. I won't get it exactly like it was in the thumbnail, but hopefully I will get it pretty close. Hopefully it will be something cool, and if it's not even close, hopefully it's even better. Oh my god, I just realized you're not even looking at the stream. There we go. Okay, sorry guys. Fuck that one up. Still new to this. It's 5 o'clock. It should be quitting time. I'm not going to quit on you, though. I'm here for the long haul. So first photo is this one. It is with two amazing adventurers. This right here is Berg Ausland. He is the man. If you do not know who Berg Ausland is, he is the first human to do a solo crossing of Antarctica. And he just recently, with his good friend Mike Horn, crossed the Arctic from one side, the Canadian side, all the way to the Norwegian side. It was very dramatic, very awesome, very intense. And I'm super stoked to include him, some photos of him finally on the stream. 
Second photo is of them setting up the tent. This is Vincent, by the way, Vincent Colliard. Vincent is also the man. He is a polar adventurer, polar explorer. Very talented dude. Very climate conscious, good hearted individual. I appreciated having him on the shoot. He kicked a lot of ass. The idea was to set up a tent in a very inhospitable place. We set it up in Finsa, which has no roads. You cannot drive into Finsa. You can only get there by train, and then you walk from there. How crazy is that? I love it. I love it. The second, the tent is finally set up, and they're about to go inside of the tent. Ladies and gentlemen, from the outside, super cold and snowy, to the inside where it is warm and cozy, and they have food, and they have sleeping bags. And then the last photo has nothing to do with anything, but I thought it would be cool. A little bit of contrast. Very warm photo of my friend Espen after we hiked Galstatopin a few seasons ago. I think it's two seasons ago right about now. But this photo has a lot of contrast because it is so warm, and I'm very curious to see what I can get out of this. Now, I have edited all these photos before, but I cannot promise once again that they will be the same. I just have to... Go with the flow and see what's going on. I have one more link to share. I will do that right now. I have to post it on Sony Alpha Photographer's Facebook page. If you're not a part of that page, that is a fun page where a lot of nerds yell at each other about not Googling camera techniques. Instead, they ask back and forth, how do I do this in Photoshop and how do I do this? And everybody gets angry and it's always fun, but there's a lot of people and it's worth milking them for some of their followers. So let me share the link. Come join. Oh, let's go with We Are Live again. We Are Live. Come hang out with us on stream as I walk you through my editing process. There we go. That sounds good enough for me. That sounds good enough for me. I'm not super picky. Let's do a camera emoji. A little emoji of a guy blowing a, the horn, because why not? If you're bored by this, entertain yourself in the chat. This will take 10 more seconds. We are live. Come hang out with us on stream as I walk you through my editing process. Come to learn. Come to chat. Come for this and that. No, fuck it. Let's leave it as it is. Okay, I'm too insecure about these things. We are live. Come hang out with us on stream as I walk you through my editing process. Boom. You know what? That's going to be good enough. We're going to leave it there. And I'm back. I have my full attention placed upon all of you in the chat watching the stream. Very stoked you're here. Once again, let's get down to business. I'm going to go full screen for a second here, and I'm going to introduce the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kyle Meyer. If you don't know who I am, I wonder how you made it this far. I am a photographer. I shoot with Sony. I shoot professionally with Sony. I feel like I should just get that out of the way, off the top, because I am paid. I feel like legally I have to, have to announce that. So now that that's out of the way, the photos that I have for you today are very heavily adventure-focused, you, how do you spell that? E-Y? 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 Welcome to the chat, man. Good. Let's go. He says let's go. And you know what? Because he says let's go, I'm going to stop introducing and I'm going to go full send into this editing. Let's make magic. All right. So first things first, every single lens that you've ever used has some imperfections. It has some distortion. It has some vignetting. And there's a very simple way in Photoshop Lightroom if you do not like Photoshop Lightroom, I apologize. I will be in here for 90% of the stream and I'll be in Photoshop for the other 10%. Enable profile correction. This was shot on the Sony 16 to 35 F2.8 at F6.3 at 25 millimeters at 1 800th of a second because the wind was fast. You see all the snow up here. I wanted to stop it. I wanted it to be sharp. And since it's backlit, I didn't want to overexpose the whole backdrop, so I underexposed all the guys in the foreground. And that is a very simple little technique just to get 
and even exposure afterwards if you have two very, very differing exposures. So we click enable profile corrections. What that does for us is it gets rid of some of the vignetting, it gets rid of some of the distortion. I think that did a pretty good job since we weren't all the way as wide as the lens goes. It doesn't do too much. It's not super dramatic, but I think it's dramatic enough. So now let's start. By the way, how's the music? Is the music uh, loud enough? Is it, uh, is it okay music? I hope it's not too shitty. I'm just using random playlists. If you happen to hear the song Faded by Alan Walker, come on, please. Tell me in the chat immediately because that song got me copyright struck <laughs> on the last video. That damn song is not copyright free. I don't know why they put it in the playlist. So let's try to save some of these shadows first and foremost. We'll go to the shadow bar. Did you realize there was so much snow in the shadows? I didn't. I didn't know that. Bump that up a little bit. We've saved quite a bit of them. I think we can do a little bit better. So what we can do is bump the exposure. I know everything's getting really bright and all the whites are super bright, but we will save that by dropping the highlights here. And we save that quite a bit. So before already and after, now we have more detail. We can see what's going on. You know what? I think I might've overdid that exposure adjustment. Let's stick with that and let's just stick with the shadows. We'll go predominantly with the shadows for now. So now we are here. Let's play around the whites. What is going to be affected by the whites? We know the sun is white because it is overexposed. So whenever I hit the whites, that will drop, but that will drop into a gray and it won't keep its color. And the color is the important part when it comes to the sun. So let's do what we can with that. See if we go all the way down. Ooh, even the sun's too exposed for that. It saves a little bit of the highlights, but it doesn't do so much that I'm overly concerned about it. So let's, uh, let's just leave it there. Let's leave it there. Photo's a little bit hazy because of all the snow and because the sun is backlit and the sun backlighting so strong. We can try to dehaze a little bit and see what happens. This microphone is always in my way. I cannot find a comfortable place to put it. I apologize if I'm always fighting with it. So we go back to zero on the dehaze, bump it up a little bit. I like that it adds a lot of punch to the photo. I'm a big fan. Let me know what you think. Would you prefer it to be a little bit lighter, a little less punch? We can also play with the clarity a little bit, but I think playing with the clarity so early on in the editing process is such a big risk. I'm not a huge fan of that. So let's let's leave it uh, let's leave it at zero and let's go from there. Let's go from there. So now we can play with the tone curve. We want to save some of these shadows, which we might be able to save a little bit. We can grab the bottom of the tone curve up and then save the highlights by dropping it this way. This is just going to flatten the image. This is basically a reverse S curve. You have an S curve and then maybe a Z curve. Maybe we'll call it a Z curve. I think we just invented that. I'm going to go the Donald Trump way and just assume I invented it. It is now the greatest thing ever. The Z curve, ladies and gentlemen, hit me with a Z curve in the chat. If you're pumped about our latest invention, you heard it here first. We'll emphasize that Z a little bit better. There we go. Okay. So now we're here. We'll go before and after. Basically, what we did is just flatten the photo. We saved some of the details. We brought everything back a little bit. We have yet to touch the color. We have yet to really get into the fine tuning. But I think for now, we're at a pretty good place. So now let's play with the color. Let's see where we're at. The photo in itself is pretty purple. So what I'm... I'm going to play with the white balance a little bit and just see what I like. Here's the thing about editing. It is hard to go in. If you're a very efficient editor, you know what you like and you know how to get there. But me, I'm not very efficient. I'm not that good at it. I'm stoked enough that you guys are watching. Sometimes I just like to slide them around and see what happens. So let's do that. Let's do that. Colder photo. Maybe a little bit too cold. The blues are a little bit too strong. I kind of like the vibe and I think it's salvageable and I think we can get something really cool out of it. But you know what? I'm going to stay away from that for now and I'm going to go warmer because I like a warm photo. I like the idea of how unhospitable the environment is, how dangerous it is, how windy and how snowy and how dramatic and sharp all the snow and the wind. You see how windswept the snow is back here on the lake. But I like the warmth of the sun. Let's play with uh, the tone a little bit, the tint. 
You know what? I'm not a huge fan of that, so let's just keep it there. Let's keep it there and go from here. We're doing okay so far. We're doing okay. One thing I'm a little bit worried about is the sun. It's There's a lot going on here. There's a little bit of color banding that I'm a little bit concerned about. So now let's go in and fine-tune the colors. So the problem is when we play with the reds, I really want to get their jackets to pop a bit more. Maybe the Hell Sports sled here to pop a bit more. But when we play with the reds, we're going to end up hitting bits of the sun. Not as dramatic as I thought, but it's also not hitting them as dramatically as I thought. Let's try the oranges and see what happens. You know what? That's that's what I was scared of. So instead of doing that, let's go in and brush them a little bit brighter. We'll click the brush up here. We will adjust the exposure, the whites, the highlights maybe. Maybe if we're brave, let's hit the highlights a little bit. And we'll come in here and we'll just brush them back a little bit brighter. Just so there's a little bit more attention on them. Maybe Vincent over here too. Guy in the orange, once again, is Borg Ausland. If you do not know who Borg Ausland is, he is a god among adventurers. He is the first man to solo cross Antarctica. Crazy, crazy feat. And him and his buddy just recently crossed the Arctic from the Canadian side to the Norwegian side. Very dramatic. Very, very dramatic finish. If you haven't read up on that, I suggest you do. So we're looking okay here. We're looking okay. They're a little bit more obvious. Bumps the shadows a bit, but I think we're going to end up bringing too much detail on the snow back. Maybe dehaze. Add a little bit more punch. Get rid of some of that snow. And then save some of the... There you go. Okay. Oops. My hand got a little bit heavy, and I pressed too many buttons. Come on, Photoshop. Oh, my God. What is going on? What did I... Oh, Whoa, I broke it. Uh, hey, <laughs> we're back. I did it. I'm a genius. I broke it. I fixed it. I am the victim. I am the solution. I am all the above. Petter Hermans, the brush tool will break when you try to brush over Berg. <laughs> Berg is too strong. He's too strong for the brush tool. The bristles are too soft. You're going to have to brush him with steel wool if you want to get that to stick. Even then, you're risking it. The man is just too powerful. We can also brush some of the sled. Maybe bring that back in, try to get some of this Hellsport to pop. This was shot for Hellsport, the brand. Fun fact, just going to plug this right here right now. Tomorrow, I will be streaming on Hellsport's Facebook page. A little bit of a motivational speech, a little bit of a talk, a little bit of some editing, all the above, showing some photos. Just hanging out, having a good time. So go over, like the Hellsport Facebook page if you want to come see that. It's going to be a hell a good time. And we'll see you there. But for now, we are here. So, for after. You know what? There's not too much more I would do. Maybe get some more detail in the sky by dehazing some of the clouds. You know what? We might. Let's just save that for after. Let's go into Photoshop first. and Let's save that for after. So, Photoshop, Command E. Roger, first of all, Roger has a question. Do you edit with a Wacom tablet or do you use a mouse? I'm going to show you a little behind the scenes of my editing setup here. Don't tell anyone. It's a little bit secret. That's what I'm using. Look at that. Mouse and keyboard. Good old mouse and keyboard. I feel like with the tablets, I just don't have the control that I want and I'm a little bit nervous about being left-handed. There's something about that scares me because when I draw with a pencil, if you're left-handed, you know this pain. It's a disaster. So I'm a little worry, uh, weary of the tablets. If you swear by the tablets, though, Roger, what do you edit with? If you swear by the tablets, let me know because I would like to be convinced. Let's full screen this. We are now in Photoshop. This is Lightroom. This is Photoshop. We made the jump. Welcome, everybody. Let's... Make it even more warm. We're going to go into the gradient. We're going to pick dope-ass brown, which is my favorite color that I invented here on Photoshop. Just like the Z-curve, this is my invention. Nobody else has discovered brown before me. And we're going to paint the entire photo with that. You know what? That's a little bit dark. Let's try to brighten it up a bit. Let's go to, oh my God, where am I? So in case you don't follow me on... Uh, Instagram, I had some problems with Photoshop and the solution apparently was to downgrade to an older version of Photoshop. I don't like that solution, but whatever. 
It is what it is. So I got to figure out how to lighten it. I don't have the usual adjustments that I have in Photoshop. So we're just going to uh, play by play by ear, if that's the word for it. I think it's a little bit too much. Let's go down to here. Let's try this. Let's try this. And we'll go to soft light blend. It might be a little bit too dramatic. You know what? Let's just go back to dope ass brown. This is a disaster. This is not going the way I expected, ladies and gentlemen. Go back to here. Soft light. And you know what? Just for shits and giggles, let's try a blue color as well and just see what happens there. That's not blue. Come on. <laughs> there we go. Let's do that. Cold blue steel. My second favorite color. You know what? It's pretty cold. Maybe a little bit too cold. Thought it was a bit too dark for that, I think. Roger says, I recently started using a Wacom. Wacom? Am I pronouncing it right? Wacom? Wacom? Kind of awkward in the beginning, but I have so much more control now, especially when dodging and burning. Yeah, you know what? That's what I've heard. I've heard that it's worth it. I'm still hesitant. I am lazy, so there is that too. Not so sure. Not so sure. Speaking of not so sure, this is... A little bit too strong. I think the sun is a bit too strong. So let's deal with the sun first. The sun is uh, overexposed. It is white. So one thing we can do is brush some of that color back in. We'll click here. We'll go bigger. And we'll drop the opacity. So now, just to fill you in, we are on the brush. The opacity is going down to 25%. You know what? Let's go to 20 because I like even numbers. If there's a zero after it, I'm happy. We'll take the dropper tool and we'll just try to paint in around the sun and fill that in with some color just so it's not perfectly white. Because I fear that if you have a perfectly white sun, it looks unnatural and it distracts from the rest of the photo. So already we're in pretty good territory. I think that looks okay. I'll zoom back out. We're getting there. Maybe blend this gradient in a little bit more. Now we're getting risky. You just paint in circles until you get to the middle. Still a little bit flat in the middle. So let's go back here. Maybe, whoops. Maybe something like that. Something like, something like that. And you know, we're going to fuck it up again here in a second. But uh, for now, at least that's a flat color. At least it is a color and it's not just white. So let's bring this back in. A little bit too much. I have a... F Something is a little bit off about Photoshop. I haven't played with this downgraded version of Photoshop. But if you look at this color brown versus what it's telling me I'm at, something's off here. If you know how to fix that, let me know. That That's definitely not what I was hoping for. Weird. Okay, weird, but let's see if we can work with it. Let's get rid of... Whoops, hello, get out of here. <laughs> let's see if we can work with it. Let's just get rid of it and let's go from here. Let's stay modest on this one. Let's use our brown. I think the idea was to make it a bit more... A bit more yellowish. And let's add a little burst here in the sun. And let's... Okay, everything has become reset. I know you hate me, Photoshop, but let's see if we can work together here. Oh, my Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, things are not going well. I somehow ended up in this screen. This is not where I wanted to be. Let's cancel out of here. Let's go into here. Basics, I guess. There we go. That's what we wanted. We don't want it to go from color to white. We want it to go from color to invisible because we want to do this. Perfect. Oh, my God. Adobe, you screwed me there for a second. Ah, okay, now let's play with some blends. Color dodge, a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Screen, also a little bit too much. You know what I'm not liking about this photo? I'm not liking that the gradient with the sun is so strange. I think something's off about that. I wonder if there was something that we skipped. This is the problem with streaming your editing process. Because when you're at home and you make these mistakes... You can just skip over it and pretend like it never happened. But when you're on camera, everyone knows you fucked up. <laughs> the question is, where along the way did I fuck up? 
If you notice, please let me know in the chat. Yell at me. Tell me I'm wrong. You know what? Let's go with a colder solution. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call an audible here. In American football, it's called calling an audible. And you're changing the play. That's not the button that I wanted. Come on, work with me here. And we're going to go with a cold one. We're going to go cold. We're going cold. Screw it, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing it live. Here we go. Now we're colder. This is, okay, still the gradient's a little bit weird. But at least we're colder. And at least we're getting a completely different look that I think is going to be a little bit more fun in the end. I'm actually really excited about this one. I didn't, I, I didn't believe in the cold in the beginning. You know what? I apologize because the cold had a lot of promise. Let's drop some of the blues because we're going to add those in later by ourselves. Let's bump this up a bit. Mm. No, let's leave it where it is. Let's check out what's going on with uh, the Cyans, or Cayennes or Aqua, if you will. And I'm not a huge fan of where they're at. The yellows. I know the sun is yellow. Oops, I accidentally clicked that. Can't get that past me. And that's just going to play a little bit too much. We're going to end up with more of that color banding if we play too much with the yellows. So we'll do that later. So for now, we will go from here. We will brighten the exposure a little bit because I think it was too dark. I think we will add a gradient here to the bottom. I'm just sort of resetting here. I'm, I'm regathering my efforts. It's been a long day and I usually stream earlier, but this time I wanted to see what it was like to stream later. Because now you guys are off work and now you have some time to pay attention. So, let's bring out some of this detail in the snow here on the bottom. Let's try to raise it up and just see what happens. You know what? It affects the sun so much. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. I'm going to leave it there. So, whew, ladies and gentlemen, this is taking a, taking a while on this photo because I am screwing up all over the place. I wonder what happens if we play with the calibration a little bit. A little trick to get that influencer kind of feel. We don't want to do it too much because we're not influencers. We're just photographers. We're going to bump this a little bit into the orange. We're going to bump the blue primary a little bit down here and try to get a little bit more of a, like a greenish blue, if you will. I think that looks a little bit better. It doesn't make a massive difference, but you can tell in the shadows here that the blues are a little bit more greenish. So one thing I will do here is see what happens when I add a radial gradient and try to bring back some of the warmth in the sun. We're just gonna play around, ladies and gentlemen. We're just here to play around because we wanna see what happens when you touch certain buttons. And you know what, it's a little bit dramatic. I'm kind of a dramatic person. <laughs> Let's dial it back a little bit. Let's dial it back a little bit. Let's go with, uh, let's go with this. Before, after I'm digging the cold. I like the cold. I think the sun looks okay. I think we're in a good spot to take it to Photoshop. Now let's com click command E and let's go over to Photoshop. Here we go. This photo, this goddamn photo, this thing hates me. I don't remember it being this difficult. The first time I edited it, you know what I did have the first time I edited it. I had a Photoshop that I know worked and wasn't an older version. So now that that's said, let's, work our way into this photo a little bit. Let's first of all, go to cold blue steel, my second favorite color. Once again, it is not correct up here. It is actually a little bit more warm than that. And a little bit more bright. Weird, Adobe is screwing me over today. Let's paint that in. Let's soft light blend it. I like that color. I think it's moody. It looks a little bit more dusky, if you will. A bit more like the sun is a little bit lower, a little bit less intrusive. I'm a big fan of that. So let's stick with that. Let's see if we can take this soft sun, which once again is just a completely different color, and bring some of the sun back in. And to do that, we will stretch it over these two guys because the sun reached them too, and we'll screen blend. It's very soft. It softens up the photo quite a bit. Soft light, see what happens there. Color dodge, way too aggressive. Linear dodge, way too boring. So let's stick with screen. Okay, now we have the issue of them being very soft. So before we start to mask them out, let's just play around with the size of the sun. How much do we want it to be 
influencing the photo, if you will. How much should it be influencing the photo? And I don't think too much. I think it should be... Well, you know what? I think maybe quite a bit. I, I like that. I like that. I'm going to change my mind. It's a little bit hot today. Sorry for the... Uh, the audible there on the hat. Audible, we all learned a new word today. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's lower the opacity because I think it's a bit too strong. And let's start to brush these guys out. To do that, we click here. We get our mask put on top of this layer. We come over here, bring up the brush, put the brush in black, make sure it's black here. And then we just go over them. You know what? Opacity, we're going to bring up to 40% because I don't want to commit to 100% just yet. I just want it to be a little bit more punch on them. And this sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, can take a long time. But if you've been here on the stream before, you know our motto is never let perfection get in the way of good enough. I know I'm butchering that original quote. I stole it from a bunch of people who said the same thing. But I like it, so it is now mine. Bring out their face a bit because faces are important. We'll do the same for Vincent over here. That was Burga. We'll do the same for Vincent. Just brush him out. Try to save some of that. We'll go down here. Down his arm. Across his head again. And the reason I'm not brushing out the left side of them is because I want the sun to play off of them a little bit. I don't want them to be completely brushed out because then it'll look like they've been photoshopped in there. You see here that the sun's a bit stronger on this side of the leg than it is on this side of the leg. That's that's on purpose. And that's after the brush in. I think that's not terrible. There's a bit more that I'd like to do to try to bring them back. Bring back the glove a little bit more. Maybe go over some of these parts a little bit more. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge on their right shoulder either because I want the light to wrap around them. I want to be a little bit... A little bit soft light. Ladies and gentlemen, while I am doing this, drop some stories in the chat. Let me know how your day was. Let me know how your COVID vacation is going. I call it that because I have literally nothing to do but edit on stream. <laughs> so in a sense, this is a vacation that I didn't want, but here I am. I'm having it. I'm having a good time. There will be some real talk at the end. I'll talk about where I'm at professionally and what this COVID stuff means for the market. But for now, I am okay with this. The one thing that I'm not okay with is that the sun is perfectly white. This was the problem we tried to fix earlier. I'm now going to go in and I'm going to try to fix it again. Bear with me. Once again, get in that chat. Let me know how it's going for you. Let me know what you're thinking of the photo. Let me know what I could be doing differently because I am here to learn as well. I'm just going to do that same technique that I did before. But this time, I'm going to go to 30 opacity, take the brush, use the eyedropper, and just sort of just sort of go around here. Not too much. We just want it so that the sun isn't perfectly white. And now let's bring back our layers. And I think that looks a lot better. I think that looks a lot better. So let's save this. Command S. Command S. We'll save and we'll end up back in Lightroom. How are y'all doing in the chat, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not seeing any messages. We need some more, some more conversation. I don't want this to be just a monologue. I want it to be a conversation. I encourage questions. I encourage anything and everything. What song are we listening to now? It's called Dream by Cloudy Monster. That sounds lame. I don't have headphones, so I don't get to hear it. Your guys are going to have to suffer through it. If it's too loud, let me know. If not, enjoy it. So now that we're back here in Photoshop, I'm digging the new cold colors. I like that direction. I like that we called that audible. Thank you for helping, out, uh, helping me out with that chat. Let's give some more attention to these guys. Let's add some more dehaze. Try to get some more punch in there. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we got a lot of contrast. D Hayes, if I don't want to play with the contrast bar, I think um, sometimes it can be a bit too strong, especially on the lights. I like using the D Hayes to add a bit more punch in the blacks. But for this case, let's do a little bit of both. Why not? 
Why not? We're feeling a little frisky today. Feeling a little frisky. Let's go a little bit of both. I think the blues might be a little strong. A little bit strong. Let's go to minus 10 on the blues in the saturation. Let's add a little bit of vignetting. Just a little bit. Just to sort of push the viewer's eyes into the photo. Not so much. We got to save the highlights because that sun is going to get hit pretty hard. Save the feather. We'll turn up the feathering a little bit. We'll drop the midpoint just to, just to sort of make it softer, make it a little bit more tolerable. And I think one thing that has done is it's darkened this side of the photo a little bit too much, the left side. So we'll bring that back in with a little bit of an exposure boost with the radial gradient. And we'll go big with that. We'll bring it in all the way in over here. Let's just play with it a little bit. See what's going on. I think it affects the sun quite a bit. I kind of like what it does for the photo. So I'm going to stick with that. If anything else, I will add another radio filter with a bit of dehaze. A little bit of white push right here on top of the guys. And what that's just going to do is it's going to add a bit more punch here in the center of the photo, and that's going to push your eyes further in. So you look at that immediately. And I think that's where I'm going to stop with that photo. Whew, ladies and gentlemen, that one was a bastard. That one sucked. <laughs> I haven't fought with a photo like that in a very long time. But you know what? I'm happy you're there to witness with me. And for that, I'm going to give us a round of applause. Enjoy that. That one's for you. If that's not the applause button, I'm sorry. I don't know what the hell you're listening to right now. But you know what? After all that work, I think it looks pretty good. Let's go. Let's give it a number three, first of all. Let's go to before. This is the before. May I remind you? It was dark. Very dark. This is the after. Very punchy. Very fun. Very fun colors. If there's anything I would change, and there is, and I'm going to go through that now real quick because I want some warmth on this snow underneath. I just want the sun to sort of land on the snow a little bit better. And what we're going to do is we're going to brush that in. We're going to brush that in. And not just, not just the temperature. We're going to brush in a little bit of tint as well because we don't want just a yellow warmth. Turned out good. I like the cold version better than the warm start. You know what, Roger? I agree with you, and I'm happy you say that because I was getting a little bit insecure about it. Let's just do a little bit of this. That might have been a little bit uh, too much. We're just gonna we're just gonna play around and see where see where we end up. And you know what? That is absolutely terrible. So we'll get rid of that. Whatever. We'll call it quits on this photo. This is the photo. There it is. If I had some hours to spend on it, there's probably more I would have done differently. But for now, I'm liking it. Just to finish it off, I'm going to get rid of some of these spots. It's a very windy and snowy day, so there's a lot of spots on the lens. Oh, my God. And there you go. Okay. Oof. One down. <laughs> the next ones are easier. I promise the next ones are easier. So let's get to that. Here's the next photo. So this one. Very windy. We went out to the middle of the lake and we decided we're going to set up tent right here because it might be the most uncomfortable place that we can find and it suits their personalities perfectly. Absolutely perfectly. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do to this photo. First things first, let's fix the imperfections in the lens. Click enable profile corrections. That will get rid of some of the vignetting, some of the distortion. And one thing that's useful for photos like this, where it's a very bright photo and there's not much detail going on, is to just drop the exposure and find out what kind of detail you have in the highlights. And here we have everything. Because we shot on the Sony A7R 3 there's a lot of detail. We shot in RAW, so there's a lot to save. Bump up the dehaze and just see, see what's going on. A little bit strange. There was something massive here on the sensor. Let's see if we can work around that. That's that's bad. <laughs> I got to clean that sensor. But uh, cool. So we have a lot of detail to work with. Let's go from there. So I want to keep this kind of bright because I like the brightness. I like that it's clean. 
but I don't want to keep it so bright that you don't see all the detail in the photo. So let's bring this down a little bit and let's bring the shadows up a little bit just to sort of flatten it out. We want this photo to be flat. Let's bring the whites a little bit as well. A little bit of contrast just to get some punch in the photo. And one thing already that I don't like about this photo is that it's it's more purple than it is green. I think the blues are a little bit too purple. So if we grab the purple slider here, in blue, in Photoshop, there's typically a lot of purple. So one thing we try to do is play with the purples and just see where it hits. And if you notice, it's a tiny difference, but if you notice here in the snow and up here in the clouds, there is a lot of purple. So we'll drop that purple all the way down to blue. Just see what we're hitting here. It's not too much. Maybe drop the opacity or the saturation a little bit because I think it hits this bag a little bit too hard. Let's stick with that. We'll drop the, well, let's not play with that yet. So now the blues, the dangerous blues, everything is blue. See, when we change it, everything changes. We don't want to risk too much this early. Because if we make some decisions we don't like, and we end up sticking a little bit too loyally to them. It's hard to get out of that like you saw in the last photo. So let's just, let's drop some of the saturation, bring it back to flat a little bit. And I think we're okay there. So now the reds, we're going to want to change some of the reds because the reds affect the most important part of the photo, which is our subjects, the tent, Orga, and Vincent. We're going to bump some of them. We're going to bump the reds a little bit higher in the saturation, bump the luminance. And one thing you'll notice is that some of the tent is not entirely red. You see in the highlights, it's a little bit magenta there. When we move around the magenta, you see that. So what we're going to do is take the, agenda, the magenta. And we're going to bump it all the way to red because we want it to be red. We don't want any pink. We don't want a pink tent. The tent isn't pink in real life. And we want the product to look accurate. Just play around with that. See what it hits. Just, uh, play with your food there a little bit. And right now I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. One thing I do want to add is a radial filter to the middle of the photo. Try to bump up the exposure, some of the shadows, just to get a little bit more attention on the tent in them. Right about here. Right about there. I think that's okay because the photo is going to get dark when we move it into Photoshop. And we always move it into Photoshop because I'm addicted and I'm very unoriginal. <laughs> One thing I do want to add is a bit of dehaze because there's a lot of detail going on in the snow, for example, that I want to keep. Now, with that little bit of dehaze, it kind of darkens the sky quite a bit. So let's, let's just leave it kind of modest. And to hit just the snow, let's do a linear gradient with some dehazing. Go from the bottom so we get a gradual gradual gradient hence the name gradient and we'll go right here but one thing that did do is it made it a little bit too saturated so let's bring some of the saturation back just some of it let's check in on the music and see what song's playing it's called stay down to the ground by jesse lw and now we are on one called the one by mvldr how hip e evil v if you will that's hip wow Good luck. Have fun listening to that. If it's terrible, let me know. <laughs> Once again, I don't have headphones, so I don't have to listen to it. Okay. I think that hits the tent a little bit hard, so let's see if we can erase some of the stuff on the tent. And we can. We'll just try to bring this back. Tent is looking a little bit pink still. Who would have thought? Let's see if we can change this. Does it? Oh, my God. It changes everything. It changes everything. So let's try to bring this a little bit more orange. We'll bring the saturation up. Maybe not so much. Maybe just here. And I think that's a little bit more accurate. So before the color correction and after. Now, something you should do pretty often is check out before and after with a photo just to see where you are, just to see what's going on. So this is before, this is after. Before, after. We got a little bit more detail in the snow, a little bit more punch. The tense is a little bit more obvious. <coughs> mm, sorry, that was a cough and a hiccup at the same time. Maybe I'm getting Corona back. Maybe this is the year for Corona part two. I th you know what? I don't know why the magenta is all the way back in magenta again. That's exactly what happened. You guys watched me. You watched me do that. And you didn't say anything. 
You're evil. You're evil, Chad. You're evil. You watched me fuck up. You didn't say shit. You just let me keep going and make a fool out of myself. Let's save some of these yellows because the tent is yellow. We'll bump it up a little bit brighter to keep up with the red in the tent. Now, I think the yellow is a little bit too green, so we'll drop that down to the orange territory, and we'll go a little bit up in the luminance to make it a bit more poppy. A bit more poppy. Just a little bit more. Boom. There we are. So, just like we did in the last photo, let's brush these guys back in a little bit brighter so they're a bit more obvious. This is better done now before you send in a Photoshop because the raw file yields better details in the shadows. So, we'll just add some brush to them. Brush up our homies. We'll raise the exposure a little bit. And we'll go in and do the same for Burger. Burger's the man. Burger's the man. Vincent, also the man. He's the man in making. But Burger is the man. That's a pretty good place to start. We're doing okay here. We're doing okay, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in hanging in, sir. Hanging in there, if you will. Let's hit Command E and let's send this bitch to Photoshop. While it is doing that, it will take two seconds. Let's go back in here and you know what? Let's try adding a little bit of warmth into that sun and just see what happens. Whoa, that adds some serious color banding because we played with the blues. You know what? Do not like it. Don't. Touch me with that nasty radio filter shit right now. I don't need it. I don't need it in my life. So here we are in Photoshop. Congratulations. We made it. Made it this far. Let's make this one cold again. I like the coldness. I'm going to stick with that. We're going to go with cold blue steel, which once again is a completely different color than what I had saved initially. Oh, man, this is, uh, this is tricky. Sorry, guys, for having to fix this right in front of you. Adobe kind of screwed me there. Paint over the whole thing. It is done. Save it. Back to Lightroom. Let's go home. Never mind. We will soft light blend it. There we go. Now we have some colder environments. It's a lot more unforgiving. It's a lot scarier. But I think it hits the tent a little bit too hard. So let's see if we can mask out that tent a bit. Let's go. Add the mask. Press B to open the brush. And let's go up to 40% opacity on this one. Once again, if it doesn't end in a zero, it's not worth having. Let's just brush this tent back in just a little bit. Check my brush. I don't recognize any of this Photoshop. I miss my other Photoshop. <laughs> Have you guys had that issue? Have you had the issue of the type kits or Adobe fonts getting really mad at you for upgrading everything? I upgraded my computer recently. I upgraded my Photoshop recently, and all of it hates me. All of it. But now it is slightly fixed, I guess. And here we are. Okay, cool. So, before and after. Neat. We're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good, everybody. Thank you for hanging in there. Oops, bumped the microphone a little bit. I hope that wasn't too loud. Sorry uh, Sorry about that, guys. Let's let you know what. Let's try to save this yellow a bit. That yellow, the yellow really got hit by the blues. So let's take it down a notch. Just bring back in that yellow area. Just mask out that blue right over there. Maybe over on this area too. All right, we're looking okay. We're looking okay. We're looking okay. I'm happy to be here. Happy to be here with you guys. You're my favorite people. So let's bring a little bit more attention to the sun and the direction of light. We to do that will. What will we do? This is a very good question. Let's go into the radial filter. Radial gradient, if you will. I assume that's what it's called. Soft sun. It's my favorite color. Just kidding. It is my third favorite color. In this order, dope-ass brown, cold blue steel, and soft sun. And let us do the same thing we did in the last photo. Try to keep some consistency across the photos. Let's hit it with one of those, long and skinny. Try to get the sun to reach deep into the photo there. And let's try soft light first. Not quite obvious enough. Screen, maybe a little bit too bright. Maybe soft light or soft sun is a little bit too bright. So let's try a different one. Let's turn that off for a sec. Let's go to dope-ass brown. As always, it's in the wrong spot. 
Let's go up here. Let's let's brush that in. Let's just see. Let's let's play around. Let's dream a little bit, everybody. We're dreamers here. We're dreamers. We're here to make dreams come true. Let's play with these. Whoa, I kind of like that. That's really clean. Screen. Mm. You know what? I like what that does to the snow. I like what that does to the snow. So what we're going to do then is we're going to push it down a little bit. And if you'll notice, since I pulled it in so far into the photo, I pulled it all the way over here. It hits Borga and brightens them up a little bit. So before, after. Nice. Now, what are you doing in here? Get out of here. Let's uh, hit this. Hit it with a gradient on the mask. And let's mask out some of the higher portion of that. We'll just go from the top. We'll hit shift, and that keeps the line straight. We'll go all the way down here to Burga. So now before and after. We'll do a little bit more. A little bit more. Maybe not so deep. There we go. We're basically just playing with the reflections on the snow. That's kind of the idea. That's where we're going with this. And that's pretty good. No cropping. You know what? With this one, I like the fact that there's so much information. Tor, I appreciate the comment. I appreciate you joining in on the chat. I'm happy to have you here. But I think the cropping on this one, I see your point. I think it would be kind of cool, but I think it's a little bit too... I think it's too cool when it's this wide. I like that. I like that there's so much environment around the photo. And let's save it. Let's save it there. And let's go back into Photoshop. This is a slightly different photo. It's not as warm in terms of the sunlight. You know what? There's one thing before we leave that I do want to fix. We're going to turn off everything we just added. And we're going to go in and we're going to patch out these cabins. Because we want this to be wild. We want this to be wild. We want them to be in the middle of nowhere. Absolute middle of nowhere. We want nobody to know where they are. It's a secret. When indeed it was Finsa, Norway. Which once again, is a town that you cannot drive to. You have to take a train. Oops, that got completely fucked up. So let's, uh, let's go back to that. You know what? You can't tell. I think those might actually be rocks. I don't think they're actually cabins. Let's just do this. Do this. Get rid of some of these. Little cabins. We don't need you here. We don't need any signs of civilization. Nobody needs to be reminded that humans were here. We just need it to be their own little playground. And you know what? I think that's I think that's it. So, there we go. We'll turn our additions back on and we'll go to save. And in saving, once again, that takes us back to Lightroom. Oop, Jesus. Whoever is still in the chat, tell me how you're doing. Tell me what you think of the stream. I've had some serious trips, some serious stumbles here in the beginning, but I think we hit a pretty good stride now. I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay, and I'm happy you guys stuck with me. I'm proud to have you here. You're my best friends of all time ever, and I want to make that very evident. So, now that we brought it back in, let's see if we can warm up. Oh, oh my God. I forgot I wasn't in Photoshop. Let's go back into develop because I'm an idiot. Let's add one of these. What is this called? Let's figure out what this is called once and for all. Radial filter? You know what? It's not going to tell us. We're just going to call it a radial filter. And we're going to go warm. Warm. We're going to go from where the sun is into the photo. And we're just going to heat it up a bit. Just to give you the idea that it's the sun, not the moon. It's not a big light. It's just the sun. Maybe drop some of the... Drop some of the brightness because it, we're losing a lot of detail. And to do that, we'll try dehazing. There we go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, now we're doing it. We are playing with fire, literally. Literally and figuratively. We are flying. So let's stop there. Let's, let's stop there before we hurt ourselves. In the spirit of the crop comment, I am going to crop a little bit. I'm just going to get rid of this because I don't want to fix this. Because it was too bright there. And let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Let's give it a three. That's a little bit preemptive maybe. Let's drop some vignetting on this so we push the viewer's eyes into the photo. Just a little bit. It's only natural, ladies and gentlemen. 
to vignette. Nobody's going to judge you. And I think we're good there. I think we're good there. You know what? I'm going to hit us with an applause. Once again, I hope this is the applause. I pray that is the applause button and not something random that I have no idea. No idea what is. But uh, congratulations. We did it. We did another photo. Let's go to before. This was the before. Pretty flat. Pretty average. Pretty cool. I think. I like it. And the final photo matches our original photo, which was this one, quite a bit. I think it looks good in the series. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Boom, three. We'll rate that a three so we know to come back to it. You know what? I'm going to skip this photo because I think we would do something very similar. In fact, let's do a speed edit. Let's do a speed edit. Here we go. Speed edit for the few people left in the chat. You guys are good people. First and foremost, we are going to... Enable profile correction. Let's see what happens when we flatten the light. I don't like that. Let's keep it blue. But let's take the blue. Let's drop it. We'll get rid of all that color. And bring it back to white. Let's go here. We'll add some contrast. Get some dehaze. Try to bring some detail back. Some of the highlights I'm actually okay with. Might be a little bit too much. Instead, let's save it in the... Uh, you know what? Screw it. You win some, you lose some. Let's play with it. Play it as it lies. Purple. So the tense is very purple. Let's move that to there. Oh, my God. I pressed a button on accident. I pressed F on accident. F in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, for me having killed the stream entirely. Okay, here we go. We're back. We're Oh, we're not back. We're Okay, there we go. Now we're back. Good job. We did it. Congrats, everybody. The tent, very pink in this one. So we'll bring that back to red. Bump up some, oh, okay, we're playing with fire here, but we'll bump up some of the saturation, some of the saturation in the purple so it keeps up with it. That, you know what, I don't like it. I don't like it. We're going back. Saturation in the reds, see what happens? Ooh, it's okay. It's okay. So we'll stick to that. We're there, yellows. Bump that up in saturation because we want those yellows to pop. We like that part of the tent. We like looking at it. Let's get it to pop. So there we go. There, there, there. What happens if we add some direction to the light? Just like this. I think I'm okay with that. A little bit too dark. Get rid of some of the... Well, you know what? Well, we'll do some of this. And we're seeing a lot of imperfections in the lens. So you know what? I'm getting rid of that. This one, what does it look like in black and white? We're not going to play with that. Homie, don't play that. We'll just stick with this. Fast edit. There you go. Five minutes, whatever. Simple. Jacket in the background is a little bit too red. Not much I can do about that. It is what it is. Don't have too much time to spend on that photo. Let's give it a two. Two is going to be good enough for now. So here we go. The final photo. The final photo. The home stretch. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting there. Just going to sneak some water. Let me know if you're still hanging in. In the stream, I'm happy to have you here. It's good to have you here. I'm playing around with this microphone a lot. It's annoying to have something like that in your face all the time. I'm getting used to it. Still new to this process. Let's make some magic. First of all, try to save that sun. And you can't because the sun is insanely bright compared to everything else. Nothing you can do about it. So let's leave it bright. Okay. I may have screwed myself on this photo choice. <laughs> this was shot 50 millimeters at f1.4. Let's. Hit it with some of that. I think most of the work we're going to do here is going to be done in Photoshop. Let's bring back some of the warmth. Let's let's really emphasize that warmth. This is going to be a warm photo. This is going to be a warm photo, ladies and gentlemen. I assume it's only gentlemen. I'm getting some messages on Facebook. Okay. Never mind. They're not important. They're not important. Back to the main back to the main cause. There you go. Oh my god, Facebook's going crazy. Calm down there, Facebook. We're trying to do something important. And reds. Let's play around with this. See what's going on. Tone curve. I very rarely use because I think it's a little bit risky. But when you start to figure it out, I think it looks pretty cool. It might be a little bit too strong. Might be coming on, too, coming on a little bit too strong. But 
I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it, and you're going to stick with it with me. So let's command E. Let's get this open in a Photoshop. Let's let's blast through this. No or well, post haste. What is it called? What is it? Post haste? We're going fast. That's what I mean to say. And in the spirit of going fast, let's get rid of some of these footprints. Because I don't like that you can see that he walked over there. I, I want it to be a little bit more anonymous. So there's one. Gone. Look at that. Easy as that. Let's get rid of the top part of this first. Go over to here. Gone. We'll get rid of this. We'll go over to here. And gone. Just like that. Get rid of some of this. Just to even it out a bit. Gone. Looks pretty natural. Is that a footprint? I'm guessing that's a footprint. I don't know. I don't remember. Either way, it's gone. There's another one. Guess what? It's gone. And we're in a pretty good spot. All the footprints are gone. Now, just like we did in that last photo, or the photo before it, the sun is a little bit too bright. We're just getting whites in the sun. This is a problem. This is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do is whip out our brush, drop the opacity to something like 30, three zero. Once again, if it doesn't end in a zero, it's not worth doing. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. We're not going to worry too much about the model getting covered. Not yet, because we will save them. We have the technology, ladies and gentlemen, to save the model. Oh my God. We're going a little out of hand, a little bit crazy. Let's try to save some of this banding, the color banding around the sun. It's a little bit much. Bring it in. We'll go even more in the color banding. Even more. We'll go all the way around, all the way around full circle. Come in a little bit more. You know what? Let's drop the opacity even more. I like this color out here better than this yellow in here. So that's what we're trying to fix. We're trying to balance out those colors. We're trying to get it to look a little bit more smooth. And I just realized that I should have created. Oh, yeah, I did create a new layer. Okay, I did. I did. I'm smart. I'm a smart boy. I'm a smart boy. Ladies and gentlemen, big brain boy over here. Big brain boy. That's what you can call me. Triple B. Big brain boy. So I figured it out. Okay. Okay. We're looking good. We're looking good. It's not... It's not the best. It's not the worst. It's just kind of... It just kind of is. So now we got we to gotta mask out homeboy here. Homeboy. That's what we call him. HB homeboy. I am big brain boy. He is homeboy. Ooh, this is going to take some uh, some precision. This is where I could have used that uh, tablet there, Roger. This is where I could have used that tablet. This is a job that should take maybe an hour, but we don't have an hour here. We have just a few minutes, so I'm going to plow through. There's going to be a little bit of haze around them. If you have a problem with that, whatever, fight me. Take me to court. <laughs> what am I talking about? threatening people on chat we'll go straight line all the way down we'll just save some of that if you hold shift if you click one spot and you hold shift click another spot you're gonna get a straight line every time ladies and gentlemen it works try it yourself give it some practice practice makes perfect that's the reason we're here actually in this time of covid we're here to practice boom look at that look at that we're getting a little bit reckless. A little bit reckless. I see some halos. To fix those halos, we're going to go smaller. We're going to hit X. And we're just going to brush them, brush them back in. You know, I hit X again. Let's get rid of some of this tip. And because I don't feel like, you know what? I do feel like it. I'm going to get it perfect. Never let perfection get in the way of good enough, except for now. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm getting restless. Getting restless. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know in the chat how you're doing. How are you feeling? You've been here for an hour. I very much appreciate that. I think you're good people. I really like that you're here because it gives me hope for my future in streaming. Whatever future that may be. 
The idea is once this COVID vacation is over, I go back to working full time as a freelance photographer. And you guys hopefully are inspired to go out and shoot some more photos, edit some more photos. Hopefully soon I will have some new photos. I don't have to keep digging into the archives. For now, we are sticking with this. We are masking out my homie's butt. Mask out the butt. It's important. Can't just do the upper body. You got to do the legs. Never skip leg day, ladies and gentlemen. That's truer now than it's ever been. Now that the only exercise that's left is (laughs) push-ups. Here we go. We're going up the legs. Going up the legs. We're feeling them up with that brush. We can be a little bit reckless because it's so bright outside the lines here. A little bit reckless. Maybe not that reckless. That was a little bit much. That was a little bit much. Let's mask that back in. Let's... Let's save that a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. How are we feeling? How are we feeling about this? How are we feeling about this? Life? Everything? We feeling good? Streams looking good? I'm getting excellent connection notifications from YouTube. I'm getting an excellent connection between me and you. <laughs> This is the kind of shit you talk about when you have an hour to talk. An hour. So here we go. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to mask back in some of what we just got rid of. But we want it to be with a purpose. We want it to be hazy. We want it to be 40% opacity. And we want it to look like the light is wrapping around them. Like it does naturally up here. We kind of want to replicate that, but with the whole body. So we're just gonna we're just gonna brush really lightly. We're gonna go trace over our steps. Tor, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. That Oslo sign is super ugly. It is a jacket from his workplace, I think. And you know what? I'm doing it now. We're doing it live. We're doing it live, Tor, because I'm happy with what I just accomplished there. Let's hit that patch tool and let oop. I uh, for oh uh, okay we're, okay here we go we're back we're back let's just patch it out no need for the clone stamp oops we're just gonna patch it out so far it's not doing a great job so far maybe I'm not doing a great job maybe I'm gonna need that clone stamp after all pretty messy but you know what we're quick here there we go how about that we got a little bit of a Weird artifacts there. Let's get rid of those. All right. How are we feeling about that? That looks okay. What do you think, Tor? Looks better? I think it looks better. I think it looks much better. Maybe get rid of some of that snow on his butt, too. We don't want a snowy butt. We're not We're not about that. So we'll just mask out some of that. Or not mask out. We'll patch it out. Just one step at a time. You know how it is. It's a labor of love. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Marathon, not a sprint. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing it. Get rid of some of that. A little bit of this. We're not careful at all with it. We're just going full send. Full send. And there we go. I think we're in a good spot. I think we're in a good spot. All right. I'm happy with that. Let's bring back in that sun. Look at that. That looks much better. Much better. Before, we had no detail on the sun It was fully Roger with the thumbs up. Thank you very much, man. We went through a lengthy process to get rid of the overblownness in the sun. And I think it paid off. I think that looks pretty good. One thing I would mask out is the ground here. It's going to get rid of that. You know what? Let's go to black and let's bump that up to 100%. We'll just get rid of that. We don't need that. Doesn't make much sense. There we are. There we are. Okay. We're looking pretty good. We're not done yet. Let's warm this photo up once again. Photoshop, you're trying to screw me here on stream. You're trying to trying to kill me. Trying to kill me. Paint that brown. Soft light blend. Look at that. Look at that. Much more dramatic. What a look. What a look. It's a little bit dark. We'll fix that. Don't worry about it. We'll fix the darkness. It is what it is. For now. For now. But... 
think we'll hit command save and we'll go back into Lightroom. Lightroom is the place to be. If you use Bridge, you're an old person. If you use Capture One, you're too cool for school. If you, you if you use Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, you are my kind of person. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. We got a photo, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a photo. Now let's make it pop. Let's bring some of these highlights back. Let's expose it a bit. Add a bit of dehaze. We'll get some punch. We'll make it a bit more punchy. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, but drink the punch. Talking about random shit again. Look at that. It's all, it's all orange. It's all orange, ladies and gentlemen. It's all orange. Now let's try to make it a little bit more red. Just to see what it looks like. We'll go into red here on the tone curves. Start with the shadows. Put some red back into those shadows. You know what? I like it. I like it. I know you're here for me. Let me hear it. Let me hear it in the chat. I know you guys like it too. A little bit of blue, maybe? That's kind of cool. That's a little bit different. Depends on the Instagram profile, right? If you're posting this on Instagram, depends on the kind of look you're going for. I think that's kind of cool though. You know what? Let's put that back in. Let's create a little bit of a Z curve. A little throwback to the beginning of the stream. Let me know what you think about the Z curve. Shout out to the Z curve. Hit up Big Z. You know what? Before, after. Before, after. I like what it does to it. It adds a little bit of a coldness to the snow. Let's do a little bit more dehaze and just play with it and see what's going on. I think it does a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Let's give some gradient to the sky because the sky has a natural gradient to it. I think we lost a little bit of that. We'll go there and try to bring some of that color back in. There we go. There we go. How are you feeling about that, ladies and gentlemen? Is that too obvious? Is that too much? A little too much? Let's crop this for Instagram. Let's just go straight for it. Let's go for the gusto. So four by five. We'll raise it up to get rid of some of that ground because there's too much ground there. Oh my God, look at that. Everybody's going to like, you're going to get thousands of likes. Thousands of likes. Millions. Millions. You're going to put everyone to shame with the likes you're going to get. Let's put a little bit more detail on the ground. Just with that dehaze. Right about there. Maybe some clarity. No, maybe not. Maybe a little bit less clarity. Just the dehaze. There we go. And I think I'm okay with that. I think, if anything, I'm going to add a little bit more Instabanger. Roger knows what's up. This is the Instabanger. The IB. We'll put a little bit... Whoa, look at that. A little bit of like J.J. Abrams level wide flare there. That's um, a little bit artsy. A little bit artsy, but I like it. Artsy fartsy. I'm into it. Hey, I'm into it. Let me know what you think. Let's give it a three. Let's give it a three. And we'll give it what I think is an applause. Look at that. Congratulations to us. We did it. We did it, everybody. We made it through four photos. Four photos. First of all, let's go back and see before and after on this one. Before. Remember, before it already looked warm, right? It already looked like a really warm, welcoming photo. And then we warmed the shit out of it. We warmed that bitch up. One thing I'm just going to fix real quick. Real quick. Always go to before and after so you realize your mistakes. Let me get rid of some of this. A little bit too dark up here on the corner. Let's just brush it out. Just save some of that. A little bit. All right. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. There it is. There it is. All right. Now let's go back through all the photos and see what we accomplished today. This one. Remember that? It took us forever. That thing was a bitch. Let's... Before. That's what it looked like before. And after... That's what it looked like after. Wow. Dramatic change. This one. Oh, yeah. Let's look at before and after. 
Oof. Which one is your guys' favorite? Let me know. Let me know what's uh, going through your mind. And this one, the last one, I'm not even going to do the third one. I don't like that one at all. Before and after. We pulled it together, ladies and gentlemen. We pulled it together. And we got some good photos. Got some good photos. I'm going to go to the full webcam chat right now. I'm going to get up close, close and personal. I appreciate you guys being here. There's not much to do during my COVID vacation. I've hit a bit of a wall in terms of work. There's not much going around. The market has dried up. So this has become my newest hobby and something that I really, really want to keep going. I'm learning how to attach a real camera. I have a real camera sitting right here, a good one. Not just use this webcam, but it's a good start. And this is where I want to, this is kind of the beginning. There's a lot more room to grow here. And that's, that's kind of what I want to accomplish. So ooh, I just pressed the button on accident. So thank you very much for joining me. This is where I'm going to leave you guys. I appreciate you being here for the three people who stuck it out all the way to the end. You put in the time. I appreciate it. You're very good people. Thank you very much. Go out, keep shooting, keep editing. I believe in you. Make as much magic as possible. And check me out tomorrow on Hell Sports Facebook page. We're going to do a live stream there. It's going to be a little bit more motivational, a little bit cooler, a little bit more fun chatting. For now, thank you very much. Tell all your friends. Have a good time. Glad you stopped by. This is the end. Goodbye.